Um, while the phone can do all this stuff, it does it worse. And sometimes you really should just spend the money to get a better tool. Hey, Pool Jody here, not swimming in the pool. Um, I don't want, yeah, see, there's gonna be some, there's gonna be some kids talking and you might hear them, but you should be able to hear me better. I wanted to tell you why purpose-built devices are still better than phones. So let me show you something. <clears throat> this is my Android phone. Um, on said Android phone, if I want to record something, I have to open it, unlock it, I have to hit audio, video, easy voice recorder, which is this, which is a great, great audio recording application. Um, and I have to hit record and then stop it. Uh, this requires a lot of effort and sometimes these ads will pop. Um, now, normally I would say, hey, it's a great idea to just have the voice recorder and just record my little notes. Like I have ideas for videos and I go, well, I should probably write this down, but when I'm on the move, I can't just be in the car and then go, oh, oh, you know, unlock the phone and then Trello and then video and movie ideas. And then, oh, I've got this category, but I've got this category too. And I got this category too. And I got this category. Oh, and I gotta, I gotta find where in the Trello categories it goes. And then I have to add a card and then I have to type in the card name. It's just so much work and I'm driving. I can't do that. I just can't, I can't do this while I'm driving. It's, it's stupid and dangerous to just sit there staring at the phone, trying to punch in some video idea while I'm driving down the road. So what do I do? I mean, I got this $160 phone. I can use it to record notes, but even that's cumbersome. Enter this. This is like, uh, I don't know, 30, 30 something dollars. I'd have to look it up, but it's not worth it. It's a Philips uh, DVT-1150 voice recorder. Um, all it is is a little gum stick size package that you can shove in your pocket. It's a little thicker than a phone, but um, if I hit this record button here, it just records my voice. If I hit stop, it stops it. And, and it saves it all to little WAV files, and if I need to hear back my idea here, I'll just hit play. You need to stop externalizing your problems. And there's my idea that I had. So I can be driving down the road. I can be in the middle of doing dishes. I can be in the middle of playing a game. I don't have to dig up my phone. I don't have to, you know, reach for it and pause what I'm playing, switch over and run the voice recorder and hit record. I can just whip this thing out at most, turn it on and then hit record. Boom. And it's done. And it's all in one place. It's not mixed up in my phone. I don't have to wait until the next time I dump data from my phone to get all those notes. I just have them all right here. Now, yeah, okay, it, it might seem a bit luxurious to spend 30 something dollars on a voice recorder um, when I could just use my phone for free. And I've already told you, I think that the voice recorder app is pretty great. Easy voice recorder is wonderful. Um, I actually ought to pay them, frankly, because their software is great. Also on Android, I haven't tried a lot of um, these things, but Ucut is a good editor, um, a good video editor. But anyway, um, the, the, the personal voice recorder here, it keeps everything in one place. It's built for this purpose. It's fast and easy to use for this purpose. Um, it sips battery. I mean, brand new batteries, but these things, they last forever on a battery. Um, and it can be in the phone beside the, or in the pocket beside the phone, and I don't have to mess with the phone. That's the beauty of it. I don't have to mess with the phone. Um, if you're in a state, for example, that has laws against um, touching your phone. Like there are literally states that say you cannot operate a phone with your hands when you're driving, which is stupid because how are you supposed to do the GPS or whatever? The uh, voice activation stuff is garbage. So I think that's dumb, but if you're in such a state, a personal voice recorder like this, uh, I call it a personal voice recorder, but it's just a voice recorder, um, is a way better way of taking notes or just you know putting down things that otherwise you would normally write in a notebook or record into your phone, you know, this is quick and easy. You can always go back later, listen to the things on it, and then write them down in a notebook or flesh them out later. So I find that, you know, much like the old micro, micro cassette recorders, which I have one, but it's big and clunky, I wouldn't want to carry it in my pocket. But this thing, this thing weighs a little less than my phone, 
and it gets the job done and I can take it anywhere and it's immediate activation. Like here, look, I'll actually do it right now. I'll just, I'll turn it on. You have to hold this till it turns on, right? Boom, and then record. I'm really just doing this as a demo for the video that I'm recording right now. Stop, and that's that. And then hit play. I'm really just doing this as a demo for the video that I'm recording right now. And there you go. Um, I probably should get rid of that. This thing has 23 hours more remaining record time. So I'm not going to run out of little um, five second to three minute in my experience so far notes um, time, you know, time to record that. Um, I, this thing might work for weeks and I don't have to worry about charging it. I don't have to worry about, you know, this big clumsy phone thing. I, just, I don't have to deal with all that nonsense. So, um, and, and I've also found use like that with uh, my old MP3 player. I had an internet outage and I had my computers unplugged. Um, that's what it was. I was redoing everything in the house and the internet was out, the computer was off and unplugged. There was no real way for me to hook it all up and use it to play any music. Um, and I don't remember why I couldn't use my phone or what. I whipped out my old MP3 player. Um, Man, I really don't remember the exact circumstances, but the bottom line is that this little thing, it's actually smaller than this. It takes one AAA instead of two. Um, and I pop my headphones in, listen to music that's been on the thing for like 20 years. There's a lot of mosquitoes out here. Um, it's been on the thing for like 20 years now, and I still love the music. Pendulum, you know, that kind of stuff. Pendulum's a great drum and bass band. Um, but all these purpose-built devices, there's a reason that we used to use them. And the thing is, what I find with phones is that while it's amazing that this phone, that's one less mosquito. Oh, you are a turd, aren't you? You just don't want to die. While phones are amazing in that you can record video and audio on them, you can edit on them if you have the right stuff and it's powerful enough, you can send messages, you can um, do all kinds of crazy stuff on one cell phone, this one pocket computer that has more power than like a desktop in the 90s had. You know, you have this pocket computer, but the problem is because the touchscreen interface is garbage um, and things get slow over time. And, and honestly, apps start slower than they ever have and their programs are not even apps. Apps is like appetizers. But you know, software just has gotten so bad and the touchscreen interface is just, is so garbage that something like this, which has actual controls Quick, it, I mean, the boot up time is a joke. It's just boom, done. Um, you saw it on camera live. This kind of thing that has actual controls that you can work with that are easy to operate, that don't require you to look at a screen, don't require you to touch a screen, that could have different controls on it at any given moment. This is a largely stateless device. The only states that you have to worry about are ready to record, um, not, you know, ready to record, recording, and other, like in a menu. And the only time that any of the other states happen is if you hit one of these wonky buttons over here that bring up the menu. And the only time that you have to worry about recording is if you hit record or you stop recording. <laughs> it's pretty straightforward. You can operate this without even thinking about it. Whereas with a phone to stop recording, oh, you know, oh, and I'm gonna have to unlock the phone again and then hit the Oh, don't, oh, don't hit the wrong button or you might accidentally delete the recording that you're recording. And oh, pause? No, that's not gonna stop the recording and complete it. You have to hit the check mark. Okay, it's just a bunch of extra work. You have to lift this stupid heavy thing. It doesn't, you know, you have to pay a lot of attention to it. This thing, I can be in the car. Hey, Jody's a loser. And now I know that I'm a loser and can remember that for the rest of time. There are good reasons to buy these purpose-built devices, especially that have these controls, these actual tactile controls, non-touchscreen controls. This thing uses less battery. It's easy to operate without thinking. It's just overall a far superior device for recording voice notes. Now, am I gonna take this thing and go and record studio quality music or on it? That not really gonna happen, especially since there's not even a microphone jack. It's just got a headphone jack. And I'm sure this microphone is not exactly amazing. The speaker is pretty garbage, but you know, a speaker this big is gonna sound like crap no matter what you do. But anyway, this thing's great. I recommend one of these to anybody if you have the need for that. But the overall purpose of this video has been 
to explain why purpose-built devices are superior to phones and how we've sort of accepted this middling garbageification. I don't want to say the other word that we all know kind of goes with it, but the turning to garbage. Um, while the phone can do all this stuff, it does it worse. And sometimes you really should just spend the money to get a better tool. Um, if you have listened this far, I would actually like to also mention someone that I work with, um, have worked with for a while, has sort of fallen back on using iPhones to record stuff and hand it off to me for editing. And I... The iPhones, some of them have really amazing camera, just camera hardware, camera software, but um, the footage sucks. I don't care. It's, it's a small sensor, um, largely fixed optics phone camera. It sucks, okay? The, the footage is always over sharpened. It, it looks funny. This camera, I'm filming, filming on my Panasonic G7 right now, my classic 4K camera from 2015, I think. Had this thing for nine years. Oh my God, I'm getting old. But I've had this, this 4K camera for a very long time and when I sent this with them to do a recording, because they were just gonna shoot it on iPhones with my slider, and I was like, you take my camera and you use it. And that footage came out so good that when I put it beside the iPhone footage that was shot as B-roll, the B-roll looks like garbage. I mean, frankly, to me, it looks like total trash. And there's nothing I can do to fix it. It's over-sharpened, small sensor phone camera garbage. And it will never not look like that. Everything's in focus and everything has that sort of noise reduced, then sharpened look. You know what I'm talking about, especially if you've used older phone cameras. And that's the thing. Yes, this camera costs $500. Yes, it's a little bit of an investment, especially if you don't make a lot of money. But if you're filming video for reasons other than just casual goofing off, if you're doing anything remotely pro, if you, if you care about video quality, Spend the money on the purpose-built device with all the ergonomics, all the controls, the actual tactile controls. I can turn this video off by hitting a button that's dedicated to the purpose. I can change the parameters of the image right now using this wheel right here that's dedicated for that purpose. I love it. It's wonderful. And there's no reason that I should have to compensate by using this piece of junk to film instead. Anyway, you get the idea. Like, comment, and all that junk. Talk to you later.